Well, we're here representing FastStream Recruitment Group. We are an international recruitment firm specializing in the maritime industry. Uh, we're based out of Houston, uh, Singapore, the UK. Uh, that is our corporate office. Um, we cover everything in Europe, the Middle East. Myself, I lead the team in shipping and the marine services division for South America, Central America, North America, as well as the Canadian market. Uh, we work with mid-level to senior appointments, executive appointments, as well as the C-suite appointments. What we specialize in is those seafarers that come from seagoing positions to shoreside, specifically here in America. Um, those master mariners, chief engineers, coming looking to be home-based, families, sometimes at sea for 30 years, uh, they, they're ready to come home. So we provide them those opportunities. We are the, the, the link between them going from sea to shore and building a career again outside of uh, being underway. Men and concerns for those that are underway coming shoreside now, I would have to say those that are not reaching their full potential at sea and coming to shore too quickly. So you have your third engineers, second engineers, chief engineers. Um, I think with the new generation of graduate students out of the Maritime Academies here in the U.S., they're not giving it the, the full respect of getting to the senior most appointment underway. They want to come shoreside too quickly, and, and that could be for any number of reasons. Um, maybe they have a, a young family. Um, and maybe the seagoing life isn't for them like they thought it was going to be. Um, so I would say one of the concerns is finding those senior level seafaring positions uh, and those individuals trying to remain at sea. I think the 30 years of being a master mariner or a chief engineer are uh, slowly dissipating. We're seeing a lot of maritime graduates going straight to a shoreside position with no seagoing experience. So I would say that would be one of the major, major issues right now is, is not enough senior level seagoing uh, candidates, if you will. Well, I think the company culture has a lot to do with it. I think uh, full package and compensation remuneration has less to do with retention for employers on the, on the shipping side, ship owners, ship operators, ship management companies, uh, and the like. They, they want to enjoy coming to work more than they want to get paid, I think. Uh, and I think that has to do with the Generation Z coming in, um, the younger generation moving shoreside too quickly. Um, they're looking for a company that they can grow with, not necessarily get paid, so to speak, in a, in a salary type of situation. They, they just want to enjoy coming to work. They want to not be micromanaged. Uh, they want to have the flexibility and the anonymity to create their own career within one individual corporation. I would say diversify your background. Um, with all the acquisitions and mergers of the maritime entities now coming together more than ever, I see, you're going to have to diversify your background, whether you come from containers or oil or chemical products. You, you have to be able to do more than just that. And we find that if you pigeonhole yourself into one particular commodity or industry, you may reach your ceiling quicker than you, than you thought. So what people are doing now, diversifying their background while they've hit their ceiling in one commodity, they move on to another commodity and create a new career potentially 10 or 15 years into their, into their professional growth.